Mitigating production risks. Propagation practices. When propagating, the biggest concern is preventing disease. A great first line of defense is to propagate on site. We're going to look at five other practices that will aid in preventing disease during propagation. First, train employees to recognize disease problems by posting photos of the top 10 problems at your location. These photos should include the name of the problem, where it was found, the action to take if found, and who to contact. Images like this one are helpful and can be found at ipmimages.org or the Soil, Plant, and Pest Center's Facebook page. The second best practice in mitigating disease is to always start with disease-free plant material. Cuttings should be taken from stock plants that are healthy, unlike the ones here on the right. Be sure to use a well-drained propagation mix. Sand, perlite, and polystyrene foam are just a few soilless components that provide good drainage. Keep cutting stress-free by monitoring the temperature of propagation areas. Extreme heat can increase susceptibility to black root rot or other diseases caused by fungi. You can detect the presence of black root rot by using this simple carrot disc assay. Keep propagation areas and tools as clean as possible. For starters, concrete floors and metal benches are easy to rinse off and disinfect. Use soilless mix and new or clean flats, cell packs, or pots to plant in. Keep everything from hose nozzles to flats of cuttings off of the ground. If reusing pots or flats, be sure to wash off soil and potting mix, then soak in a disinfectant solution like the ones here. Plant pathogens can easily be spread between fields and moved into propagation houses. To help minimize this threat, limit access to designated personnel only and place disinfectant mats at entrances. Now, let's recap on our five important propagation practices. One, train employees to recognize disease problems. Two, always start with disease-free plant material. Three, Use well-drained propagation mix. Four, monitor temperature. And five, keep the propagation area clean. The use of trade names is solely for the purpose of providing specific information. Please follow individual product labels to determine appropriate use. Alcohol and bleach are corrosive to metal and are not recommended. Funding was provided by the Southern Risk Management Education Center in partnership with the National Institute of Food and Agriculture.